There comes a time in our mature spirituality when we come to the realization that if we want something to be different in our lives, then we can't continue doing the same old, same old every day. We must go in a new direction if we seek something new. In Romans 12, verse 11, it says, Do not lack diligence. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Harry Emerson Fosdick once stated this, No horse gets anywhere until he is harnessed. No life ever grows great until it is focused, dedicated, disciplined. Well, is your life, my friend, focused? Is it dedicated? Is it disciplined? You must have those three things working together. God expects us to work in a dignity way and a discipline way. The Bible reminds us again and again that God intends for us to lead disciplined lives and we should take God at God's word despite the temptation. And what is the temptation? To find the easy way. To find the easy way out. Well, the easy way out often leaves us out. We live in a world in which leisure is glorified and indifference is often glamorized. But God did not create us for lives of mediocrity. God created us, God created you for greater things. Life's greatest rewards fall into our laps only when we are disciplined, when we're going towards something, when we have a lot of work in our background. And God has given each of us an ability to do this, a strength and an ability. And God knows that we're up to those tasks, even if you don't currently know. God sends your way. God has big plans for you. And as a disciplined follower of God, you will be very, very worthy of God's plans.